Okay, what I'd like to talk to you about is uh, using titles in iMovie and uh, and trying to make some more interesting titles, um, not necessarily using the defaults that iMovie f provides. So let's just go ahead and make a, a standard title slide. So I'm going to click on the centered title and just stick it at the beginning of the timeline where we're given an option of various backgrounds for the title and uh, they're all um, fairly standard uh, plain backgrounds down here um, we've got the retro background paper the, uh, the the kind of woven silk effect at the top we've got four animated backgrounds and this is the the titles uh, sorry the curtains the organic um, the I Been Tango title uh, background and this one I like here which is underwater so let's just go ahead and select underwater um, I'm going to edit the text in there to my name and so that's a fairly straightforward Commodore Garden iMovie title perfectly respectable perfectly nice the only thing is that everybody's using the same backgrounds and uh, you may want to do something a little bit different so the first thing is that the the title comprises of two parts the background image whether it be a still image or a moving image like this and the actual title uh, text itself so what I'm going to do is make a new title um, doing it a slightly different way and I'm going to start off by using a different background now I found a website giving away this rather nice looping high definition background I've uh, put information and a link to that website in the information bar underneath so you can go and grab a copy of this or there is a few other ones to choose from as well so I'm going to drag that down into the timeline select it first drag it into the timeline and uh, use that as the background and I'm going to while that's selected I'm going to click onto uh, this title and I'm going to edit the text in there again to Alan Starkey now it already looks better I think just the um, the, the kind of the, the nice background makes all the difference but rather than stick to the straightforward um, bog standard um, iMovie font I'm going to click onto the text and show fonts now everybody tends to use these fonts um, you, you don't have to restrict yourself to these and particularly some of the serif fonts uh, the ones with little curly twiddles on them aren't so good for use in titles because they're not very easy to read so let's go ahead and click system font panel and we can now get access to all the fonts on the Mac but in order to see what these look like in order to preview them just make sure that the text is highlighted in the viewer window and you just can go ahead and see what these fonts look like some of them are a, a, a bit a bit strange some of them are pretty good and uh, earlier on I found one that I liked the look of and it was called fish so I can go ahead and either scroll down and find it or just simply type in the word fish in the search pane and there it is fish and we can either have light or bold I quite like the bold but I'm not too keen on the outline and you can actually switch the outline off and if you look down into the style palette there's a little button at the far right hand side that actually switches the outline on and off I like it now but it's a bit on the small side so let's make it a bit bigger yeah 72 that's not too bad okay so I think that's an improvement over the um, the standard font but you can also play around with some things such as shadow and um, there's no right and wrong way to do this just play around with these various shadow settings until you get something that you like the look of okay the um, this alters the angle of the the light hitting the the font and I think I quite I quite like that if you can't see the shadow controls by the way and if you're using a MacBook it may be that when you first open this panel up it's so narrow that it doesn't show the shadow setting so 
just make that wider and then you'll be able to get access to these. The other thing I'm going to do now is alter the kerning. Now the kerning is the distance between each letter. They look a bit bunched up to me so if I click on the kerning setting down here and actually widen the kerning it kind of makes the thing look a whole lot better. Okay so let's stick with that and I'm going to click done click on the window so there we have it um, something that looks a whole lot better than the original iMovie title so I'll let you have a look there see which one you prefer okay I hope that's been interesting for you uh, I'm Alan Stark your iMovie tutor I'll see you soon